What's going on guys? This is Michael Norris and I'm back with episode 4 of We Build Wednesdays. Today's episode, Google Analytics for Business. Do you need it? What's it for? What can it do for you? Let's start by talking about what Google Analytics is not. Google Analytics will not tell you individual user data for people on your website, which means you cannot find out that John Smith is on a particular page of your website right now. You don't know if John Smith completed a form, you don't know if John Smith purchased something, it's not gonna be able to tell you that. You don't know where John Smith is, you cannot tell individual user data at all, uh, mainly due to privacy laws, that's just kinda how it is today. What you can do, however, is track users anonymously. And you can track them in various ways. You can track them by the channel that they came from, you can track what pages they're on right now, but you don't know their name, and you can track uh, how they interact with various pages on your site. So let's dive into this a little bit. What you're seeing on my screen right here is a real-time overview of UTech and Associates site. Uh, on here, you can see right now we've got three users actively on the site. They're all on desktop. You can see the total page views per minute, and that ticks away just about every minute here. Uh, top active pages, these are the pages that people are on. Uh, these look like a search, this looks like a search page. This looks like someone working in the back end of WordPress and this looks like someone checking out uh, an image file. You can also see different locations where people are visiting, uh, where people are viewing from. So you'll see around the Chicagoland area, we've got a few here. There's one out here, and it looks like in India, and that's gonna happen occasionally. You're gonna see some traffic like that too. Uh, keywords, if any, is provided from someone who searched something. So right now, a person just landed on the homepage. Uh, it looks like they came from Google search traffic. So let's move through this a little bit, and I'll show you how this can help your business and identify things about your user base so that you can leverage that into new marketing opportunities going forward. Uh, first screen I want to show you here would be the home screen. Give me one second while this loads here. Slow internet today, man. All right, so looking at this, it's showing us the last seven days of data. And I can sort this in various ways right here if I wanted to get a little bit more granular or look at wide periods of time too. Um, but basically, these are my total number of users who visited in the last seven days. These are how many sessions or site hits, how many times they visited the site. Uh, this is their bounce rate. So a bounce is, is bad. You want that number to be lower. 70% isn't too bad, but we probably don't want it to be any higher than that. Um, a bounce means that someone came to your website, didn't click on anything, didn't go through to any more pages. They looked at one page and then they, they got out of there. Session duration is exactly what you think it is. That's how long the average user is spending on your website. Generally speaking, longer is better. That means they're finding your content valuable. They might be completing a sale if they stay on your site longer. Um, so those kind of things are good. If you see your session duration dip under about a minute, that's probably not a good thing. Uh, here you can also see, uh, this is basically a whole whole dashboard look, you can also see active users on your site right now, here you can see what pages they're on. Now this isn't as in-depth as that other page I was showing you, but it, it, it is good. And this is sort of a new thing that Google is doing. You can expand this card over here and it tells you different things about different types of traffic based on what Google is seeing. Um, and it's, it's really awesome. Um, it's different things that you might not catch on your own and it's different things that you kind of have to dig into the data to really find out, uh, but it's, it just tells you various statistics. So it looks like Facebook referral traffic, which should be categorized under social media, but occasionally it shows up as referral, uh, it's performing worse on key metrics and as opposed to other types of referral traffic. So that's something for us to know if, you know, all of our Facebook traffic, let's say, was coming in through this channel and it was all performing worse, well, we need to identify why that's happening and then we can get to the point of the root cause and we can fix that. How we acquire users, this is broken down by channel here. Uh, you can see organic search, page search, direct traffic. Uh, that kind of just shows on a, on a daily basis how many users are coming to the site and where they're coming from. Let's talk for a minute about why that's important. If you don't know where users are coming from to get to your website, how do you know how to market to them? You, you, you don't really. Um, so let's say you're, you've got a billboard up. Let's say you're doing some print marketing, even traditional marketing, TV. Um, it's important to know where people are coming from so that you know what channels are driving the traffic to your website so you know what, what's performing well. 
And then the digital side, it's much easier to track. You know, you can track paid search, you can track Google search, you can track social media, you can track referrals from other websites, any anything like that. Let's say you're doing Yelp advertising, it comes in as referral traffic from Yelp, that's no problem. Um, but it's, it's important to know how those users are getting to your site, and then once they get to your site, what are they doing? Moving forward, it breaks down by country, time of the day where users uh, visit your site. That's, that's very important as well. By default, it's going to show you 30 days worth of data. And you can see these dark circles here are the times at which people are really visiting your website. So um, that's important to know if you're sending out emails or doing anything like that, any kind of time-based marketing. Uh, even your AdWords campaigns might be good for you to, to know what the heavy times are so you can adjust your bids accordingly or send out emails at those times because that's when your target market is looking at your website. What pages your users visit? Uh, typically, your home page is going to be the highest out of all those, but uh, it's good to know what other pages on your site are getting the most traffic so you know which pages you want to, to look really nice or to put CTAs on or to prioritize uh, whenever you're doing any kind of new design shift or anything like that. Uh, how your active users trend over time? That's always good to know. If you see anything drastic changing here, uh, you know that that you need to fix something or, or something went wrong or if you see a big spike, it's, a, it's good to know where that came from so you can identify it. Um, so it's just another way to, to look at that over time. Sessions by device, also important. Generally speaking, your desktop traffic is gonna be more important than mobile traffic or tablet traffic. Um, desktop traffic, you're gonna see longer, longer session duration. You're gonna see more pages per session. Uh, generally speaking, your conversion rates are going to be higher on desktop. That's not always the case with those three, but it, it is it is up there. Um, mobile phone, though, uh, for for UTech, I mean, we we have relatively low percentage of mobile phone traffic, but generally speaking, it's about over fifty percent for a lot of the sites that we manage. So something to keep in mind there. User retention also important. That's how often people are coming back. Do they find your content valuable? Do you have a blog? Are they coming back? They're watching your videos. They're checking out your blogs. They're looking at the new products you have to offer. Um, that retention is, is obviously very, very important. And then goals, you know, how, how many people are coming in and actually completing some kind of action that you want them to complete on your site? Are they purchasing something? Are they contacting you? Are they calling you? Are they filling out a form? Those are things that, that you need to know and you can trace that back and determine, okay, seven people who came from Google search filled out a form on the site well, three people who came from social media did. I spent $1,000 on social media, but I spent $500 uh, with SEO. Well, then you know the SEO is, is performing better. Obviously, you don't want to make a judgment on just a small snapshot like that, but in that particular instance, you would know that you got better ROI from, from the SEO. Last but not least on this dashboard, how are your Google ads performing? It breaks it down by campaign for you, tells you your clicks. We don't have revenue attributed, but you can do that as well. It's a lot easier with e-commerce to hook that up. Your total clicks, your total cost, it's just a broad overview snapshot. If you want to learn more about Google Analytics, we can dig into that at a later episode. This is kind of just a, a little bit of a brief overview to show you, you know, everything and in one big snapshot, the kinds of data that you can get. And in later episodes, we'll break down, if you look at my screen over here, audience, acquisition, behavior, and conversions. We'll go through all of those different ones. But this is Michael Norris, and this is episode four of We Build Wednesdays. What can Google Analytics do for your business? Thanks.